Well, hello there, guys. Welcome to January. So, I wanted to tell you guys about my huge, I'm proud of myself, December wrap-up. I read eight books. I'm so excited to tell you what I read. And, oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I read eight books in December. Now, I know I'm going to start my year 2018 with goals but yes let's start with the video i wanted to tell you guys that um i did read some comics so i'm gonna tell you guys about those comics first the first comic i read was gal the cute and terrible let me just say that this was so adorable if the author does come out by the way the author is alfred pay so if he comes out with another volume i would be gladly happy to read it because this comic was just so adorable it's like based on this little like monster who wants to go out to trick-or-treat and oh my god it's so kawaii but yeah the next comic i read was malika the dragon trials and i love this comic a lot because um it has a bunch of diversity in it i've never read a fantasy said it um you know the setting which is this which is a setting represents africa so like the, the main character is african and there is african mythology to it and she fights these dragons and i need more so if the author comes out with another like i said another volume i'd be gladly surely you know be able to read it because i did like it and this is part two of the warrior queen which is coming out soon so i'm very i I thought this was like zelda or something but it was not like zelda so i loved it a lot the next book i read was if only by richard paul evans and i love this book a lot it's um based on these two characters who meet and one of them ran away from home and the other one is trying to help them out and they both fall in love with each other and it the setting takes place in the 1900s where it was around the cuban missile crisis and i love this book a lot it has a topic in here a situation that everyone needs to like everyone needs to read this book because we are not watching out with this specific topic that is based in the book. We all need to st like you know start realizing that you know that situations in life are very difficult and we have to take control of it and take action of it. And this book made me cry so much. Like literally, my mom and my sister were like annoyed, but I loved it a lot. The next book I read was. Wires and Nerve by Marissa Meyer, part one in the duology companion slash prequel to the epilogue ending of winter-ish. It's in graphic novel and it's the main character for this book will have is Eco, Eco the robot. Oh, I love her so much. And she was in all the books, of course, and all of our main characters from Cinder through Winter are in here as well, because this is after Winter, but before the epilogue from Stars Above. So I highly recommend this book because it made me cry as well. All these books this month made me cry, actually, except for the two comics, but all these books made me cry a lot. And this book made me cry a lot more because... It reminded me so much of the Lunar Chronicles and I y'all should pick it up because it's lovely. The next two books I did I did I read were The Serp no The Throne of Fire and The Serpent Shadow, both by Rick Riordan. This is book two and this is book three. And this marks the ending of the trilogy because I read the first one and then this is the second and third. Um I highly enjoyed the, the whole trilogy. I enjoyed Carter and Sadie and Bast and Bess and all these beautiful characters, all these gods and goddesses. I love the premise of the story. It's very different from Percy Jackson, but very similar in the mythology taste to it. And I love it so much. It's very different from Greek mythology. And I thought it would be the same, but it's not. And I really highly recommend it to everyone because this is actually good to start off because it's middle grade and then you work your way up to the Hills Olympus, which is young adults. But I mean, you have to read Percy Jackson first, but these two books were incredible. So I highly recommend it to each and every one of you. The next book I read was How to Be Bad by E. Lockhart, Sarah, 
Sarah Malinowski and Lauren Miracle. This book was epic. <sighs> the friendship, the diverse, the diverse minds to it were just so shockingly beautiful and brilliant. I love the writing style. I loved everything. Three authors co-wrote it together and I just love the main characters and everything about it. I love the setting, which is in Florida, the Waffle House, the alligators, the disasters. This book got me up to my the edge of my seat and it made me cry. And everyone should pick it up as well because, yeah, How to Be Bad is beautiful. And I'm also making a video about this soon because I recently went to Florida and I had the same coincidences with this book. Like, literally, a lot of the... The storyline basically felt like me in Florida IRL in real life. So I'll just tell you more about it in when, you know, this video comes out hopefully soon. But yeah. Now, the last book I read in December was, well, reread the was the first volume of Scott Pilgrim. And this is titled Precious Little Life. It is graphic novel. And I, this is the first volume, by the way. I reread the whole six books back in middle school, but I wanted to reread them now again. And I still highly enjoy this. I loved it a lot. And I can't wait to pick up the other five. Everyone should read it. I, I just don't know. I, I mean, I'd rather let the older audience read it because it does have curse words in it and you know sexual stuff basically but I love this so much and y'all should read it yeah okay guys so these are all the eight books I read in December I'm actually very proud of myself because I you know I read a lot <laughs> like some are small but some are huge and I'm very proud of that because I know that I'm gonna start January off with a good start and Yes, so, you know, give it a thumbs up if you liked this video. If you want to comment down below which books you've read in December, I'd love to know. And I'll see you guys. Oh, by the way, subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.